happening, but this isn't Mike Lindell. Real brewed? Always. 100% natural? 100%. Real lemon juice? Absolutely. Ding, set, match. Mr. Lindell. on court 14 will be taking you down there shortly now if you've been following tennis for the past two decades you've lived a series of life passages with our colleague jimmy connors it is almost impossible to chronicle his 19 years of wimbledon play but let's give it a try no man has ever played more wimbledon singles matches than james scott connors and no man has brought more enthusiasm, competitive fire, if not fury, to center court than Jimmy. It began in 1972, his Wimbledon debut at 19. He won two years later as Jimmy and his fiancee, Chris Ebert, formed the winning Love Double, each capturing their first Wimbledon championship. The great Aussie Ken Rosewall was the victim, overpowered at age 39. The brass shot maker from Belleville, Illinois, a winner in straight sets. The next year, 1975, he stepped into Arthur Ashe's zone. And Ash on the near side, Arthur, a thoughtful game plan, drawing Connors away from the baseline, then using lobs as well as off-pace shots to frustrate Jimmy. It was number one Connors and his power game beaten by the guile of the six-seated Ash. Nothing could save Connors from defeat, not even the fervent pleas from his fans. 30, 50. In the finals again in 1977 and 78 against Bjorn Borg and the magnificent Swede would win both years. Part of Borg's incredible modern-day record of five straight Wimbledon titles. And when Borg released his triumphant grip, a new Connors barrier awaited in the 1980s. And John McEnroe brought out the best and the worst in Connors. 1982. The longest ever men's final. The two testy and temperamental Americans fought brilliantly through five sets. Four hours and 16 minutes. The defending champion, the perfectionist McEnroe, though leading early, never satisfied, provoking a Connors pot calling the kettle black chastisement. Connors was down two sets to one when he dug down deep, winning a dramatic fourth set tiebreak. Pumped for the fifth set, Connors would then complete the upset. It was cause for sincere celebration. At 29, Jimmy Connors had finally won his second Wimbledon championship. Two years later, 1984, Connors again in the finals against McEnroe. It was a devastating defeat for Jimmy, who managed only four games against McEnroe, a McEnroe that played impeccably. It took only 80 minutes for Mac to win his third Wimbledon. After the match, Connors took no time for the press, nor NBC. And they'll be coming around the corner. John, could you wait just a minute while we talk to Jimmy? Jimmy, may I have a word? And Jimmy doesn't want to speak. But for Wimbledon, Connors wouldn't go away, although in the fourth round, 1987, he seemed equally overmatched by Sweden's Michael Pernfors. Connors seemed well beaten, 6-1, 6-1, 4-1. But in the style that continues to endure him to the blue-collar fans, Connors refused to give up the fight, although not all went his way. Correction, ball is good. Off. He then manufactured one of the greatest rallies ever seen on hallowed center court. As Italian tennis star Adriano Panato once said, Jimmy, he does not want to die. But last year it did seem to be over 
an injured wrist relegated Connors to an NBC role. His only tennis Wimbledon instruction fair for TV fans. But surgical repair brought him smiling to Paris this year and the French Open. A classic battle with Michael Chang, half Jimmy's age. After winning the first point of the fifth set, an exhausted, hurting Connors retired. Absolutely certain he had given all to the last out. <laughs> Buoyed by the cheers in Paris, Connors decided on a 19th visit to Wimbledon and quickly reminded us he hasn't changed. Don't mind if we pull the ball in or out. I really don't. Just let it bounce first. But at 38, he plays more with a smile. It's a better mix. The Connors fight tempered by the obvious joy that he's still on court. Wow. I get those about once a year, so... <laughs> Yesterday's 83rd singles win, a Wimbledon men's record. His 12-year-old son, Brett, is here to help Jimmy carry on. Today, his 100th singles match, and Wimbledon is ready to cheer the champion who refuses to give up the fight. So Jimmy Connors is still giving tennis lessons here at Wimbledon. And today on Court 14, Jimmy is leading Aaron Crickstein, a man 15 years his junior. Connors is leading two sets to love. Back with the third set in just a moment. 